first step in getting macros is getting the sabiki rig. And we are currently at Jimmy's shop. So, stop by, pick up some stuff. And I'll show you guys what you guys are gonna need for the sabiki. So I typically get the size six. Oh, no, actually, you know what? It might be size one. Or size two. So the macro's mouth is not that big, so it's good to get something that'll fit the macro's mouth. I think typically I buy size two. Size four is a bit too small, size two, and size one is a little bit too big. So size two, we'll get two of these. We are gonna get do we need any of these? We're gonna look for something that we can also fish for bonito as well. We got some of these. For whatever reasons, um, the macros, they tend to like this one without the bait too. So you, sometimes you don't even need to use bait. So you get use the ones that, I don't know, it just looks like a fly in the water or something, or like a bug. So we'll get these. And then, uh, we'll look for something that Bonito likes as well. So we're going to look for size 2, something that's shiny. We can you actually you fish from macros and bonito on these. I think these are good too. All right, we got two 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 of each. All right. Pretty much. All right. So now we're going to need some weights. I'm gonna need the. Uh, I already, I still got some five ounces, but I'm gonna pick up another five ounce anyways. Where's all the four ounces? There's five. Where's all the four ounces? I need some more four ounces. There's three. Let me grab some of the three as well. Do you guys have any, any more four ounce torpedoes? Are you serious? Yeah. You guys just barely open, right? Yeah, but he's saying one month no one left. But yeah, every place pretty much has a lead, almost lead shortage. Oh, really? So hard, yeah. Oh, damn. Really hey, I saw you at Newport Pier like a couple weeks ago. We living it out on Bonito over there, yeah. man, right? That was, that was you, right? Bonito, food chula. Yeah. My God. Oh, man. Come. I'm here getting more sabikis. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So, uh, man, that's a bummer, man. You ran out of uh, uh, four ounces, man. Come to my store. Yeah, I know. I but there. it's all the way in Long Beach, though, man. It's worth the drive. So, all right. How much do I owe you, man? So, mười mười lăm đồng, anh. Mười lăm đồng. You got it. Here you go, man. Fifteen. Bé này làm YouTube YouTuber luôn ha. Yeah. Đã, đã đang làm YouTube có, anh có mấy subscribe rồi à, đâu có bao nhiêu mới bắt đầu cái này video đầu tiên mà <cười> okay. so we're gonna advertise you guys on there man so yeah this is Jimmy he's the owner of Kaivo in Long Beach I've been to the shop a couple times and uh, very big store a lot of stuff he knows what he's talking about um, uh, but if you guys want to come out here, I think he's only on, open on Sundays, right? Yes, yeah, Sunday. only, oh, so yeah, if you guys come out here on Saturday like I have before, they're not here. So come out Sundays, go in West Swami or Kaivo Long Beach. All right, back out here again at Newport Beach Pier. Uh, so in terms of location, Newport, Beer, Newport Beach Pier in Orange County in Southern California is one of the best pairs to catch a lot of macros at. Um, Buffalo Pier is another one. But I've been to all the other pairs uh, in Orange County. Um, Newport Beach Pier is by far the best. Um, also, the best time to catch fish or macros, in this case, 
is sunsetting or sunrise. Um, I can't wake up that early, so I'm here um, during the sunset, and currently it's uh, 5.30 p.m. Um, you can see across from us um, at Newport Beach Pier is Catalina Island. So, um, to the right here, that's new. Uh, that's Huntington Beach uh, and Huntington Beach Pier. And behind that is Sioux Beach Pier and then after that is um, Long Beach. So, um, on the opposite side is Balboa Pier towards that way. Um, so um, if you guys do plan to come out here and try to catch a lot of macros, um, the free parking here in the parking lot starts at 6 p.m. and it's free all the way up to about 8 a.m. in the morning. Pier does close around midnight but uh, a lot of times um, the police they don't come on to the pier to kick everybody out therefore most of the time the pier is open almost 24 7 so um, I'm gonna get started uh, to uh, rig up my uh, <clears throat> my pole and you'll notice that I currently have a um, glow stick tied um, to my line and then it ends with a swivel that swivel is gonna um, connect into a sabiki rig and in my um, uh, earlier uh, video uh, recorded I had to pick up some uh, sabiki rig from uh, the uh, shop at the uh, Golden West Swap Meet by uh, Kaivo Long Beach, Kaivo Ta Taco and Bait in Long Beach so um, you guys can buy it from there or you guys can buy it from Walmart, eBay, um, you know, or uh, your favorite taco uh, shops. But for me, I like the way that T Kaivo makes those sabiki rigs. They're just, I don't know, I just like it. They're cheap. They're about a buck fifty. Um, the better ones are about two bucks. Um, but all you need is really, if you're gonna catch micros, all you need is about um, a buck fifty uh, sabiki rig, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so we're gonna catch up with you guys in a bit after I uh, get everything set up, start casting out. I'm gonna switch views to my. Uh, I'm gonna do a head mount view so that you guys can see where I'm casting. Um, what you guys want to do is you guys want to station or uh, cast uh, Pick a spot where there's bright lights on the pier uh, It doesn't have to be a pier, but as, as long as you have bright lights and underneath the bright lights is where you want to cast your uh, Sabiki rig Okay uh, Macros are top uh, top column swimmers so most of the time they swim at the top uh, water columns about uh, anywhere from two feet under the surface to about, I don't know, 10 feet or so, uh, depending on the tide. Um, so you want to, uh, what you want to do is make sure or uh, try to get your rig um, in a way where the hooks are in the area of around two feet under the surface or uh, between two and ten feet under the surface okay some people what they do is they tie up 12 hooks to their sabiki rig or they two tie uh, or they tie two sabiki rigs together um, that way a lot of their hooks are on the top water column uh, other than that um, uh, the bait to use is, uh, you know, you can use squid, uh, mackerel, sardines, uh, or just any anything that 
you know, anything that's like you got laying around in the refrigerator. You guys can also um, come empty handed to the pier and look for bait that people left behind on these cut boards. Um, this one doesn't have any, uh, but a lot of times people leave their, uh, their uh, bait left over uh, on their cut boards and you can just grab that or you can just ask people uh, for a piece of bait. Once you have a little piece of bait or a couple of pieces of bait, just uh, cast it out and start catching macros. Once you catch your first macros, you're pretty much set. You're going to have bait all night long. All right, well, um, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. One of the things I'd like to um, point out uh, that I'm using is um, this piece of foam is from a pool noodle that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, I just cut it up and I use it. Uh, I, I use this small piece to safely put away my sabiki rig once I'm done with it. Um, that way, you know, um, you don't get hooked or, uh, you know, it gets all tangled up. Sorry, I can't stop the music in the background. That's somebody else playing the music. I can't really tell them to turn off the music, but hopefully it's not a copyright thing and I'm not gonna get the um, ding for it uh, from YouTube. Alright, I'm gonna hook this guy on to my main fishing line. One of the standard torpedo weights I use fishing for macros on the pier is the 4 ounce. So um, you guys can use 5 ounce if the wind is a little bit heavier. Uh, but I, most of the time people use 4 ounce to 5 ounces. So here I'm just uh, grabbing water uh, for uh, preserving the macros. I'm just putting the water into the bucket where I'm going to be dropping the caught macros into. bait you want to cut up it doesn't have to be too big it's just small size just enough so that it fits right onto the sabiki uh, hook because the macro's mouth is not really that big so you don't want it too big this is the size of the um, glow stick I use very small you can get these from the swap meet or you can get them on Amazon I think like 10 bucks you can get like a hundred of them. So my first cast, um, I cast it about 10-15 feet away from where I was. Uh, you don't have to cast very far. The fishes are, or the macros are usually hanging out uh, right by the pylons. Uh, next to the pier about 10-15 feet away um, where there's light and macros are attracted to light so um, after about 30 seconds of casting I catch on to my first macro and this will go on for about three hours um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you footage um, uh, that's fast forwarded uh, so you don't get bored. You also notice that the guy that was standing to the, my left uh, went home. So I went ahead and I took over that corner spot. Um, that way I don't get into anybody's way or tangle with anybody's line.
So here I started to um, catch two uh, at a time, um, sometimes three, sometimes four, um, but uh, it depends on if uh, there's a school of them swimming around there nearby the uh, Sabiki rig. Um, so again, this um, will go on for about another hour. Um, it's about two hours into the session. Um, it's not going to be like this every night, but um, if uh, you do come out at the right day when there's a school of them, uh, you are going to be able to catch a lot of them. Uh, my problem is I don't have any more room left in my freezer to store a lot of them, so um, I'm going to call it a night pretty soon. <laughs> Um, one of the fish uh, that I caught um, at the end of the night is a California sculpin, also known as a scorpion fish. Um, the legal size on these fishes are uh, 10 inches, and this one was uh, about 8 inches, uh, so I let it go. Um, they are very venomous, uh, the, the thorns on the back. So uh, be careful when you're um, catching these and handling them. Uh, make sure you don't touch those uh, spikes. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to call it a night. Um, I got like at least 60 mackerels or so. It's a good half a bucket full. As you can see, it's about half half bucket full. That's at least 60 mackerels. Um, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like and uh, subscribe. Um, I'll make more uh, videos um, that are, you know, either unique or something that <coughs> is not done by all other people on YouTube. So. Um, thank you for watching.